feel that and you want to come off plane and trim up at the same time. I'm on that house code and I'm on a seat. If I can get somebody to uh, go out there now, if I can, I don't have uh, any captains available after uh, 3.30, but I'm going to try my best to kill it tonight. I won't come and get you in the morning and we'll be here. So we have just road cruised. This is a younger Florida box turtle that's closing up right now. I'm gonna make sure this guy gets off the road. Really beautiful pattern. We're gonna keep on going. All right, everyone, we've just come across our second box turtle of the day. This is another male that we found. The last one did have an indent in its plastron. But yeah, this is a really pretty one. I mean, the pattern on him, you can see they don't have, it doesn't have those defined stripes on the carapace like the most florida box turtles do but this guy is more spotty but what i'm going to do because he's now clawing at me is i'm going to release him right over here in the shade and yeah you can get a really good look at that um carapace but he's just going to head off into the woods and we're going to keep on going but second florida box turtle of the day so we just got our third Florida box turtle of the day. This one had looks like it suffered some burn injuries. Um, but we're going to make sure this turtle gets off safely. We're going to keep on driving. But yeah, Florida box turtle. So it is the next day and we have yet another box turtle. We're going to make sure that this guy gets off the road. And we're going to keep on going. So this is the fifth box turtle that I have seen in the last 24 hours going back to yesterday morning. Um, with all the rain that we have, these turtles have just been really active moving on the road. So here is one now working its way along the road. So get a view of him there. I'm gonna make sure this guy gets off safely, although he's heading in that direction. I think this is actually a female. She's got a very dome shell and a tiny tail. So I think this is probably a young female Florida box turtle. And she's about to get off the road safely. She did it on her own. So, yep, there we go. Fifth box turtle in the last 24 hours. So I have just road cruised. This is a f another Florida box turtle that's crossing the road this morning. Um, this is pretty cool. We're going to make sure this guy gets off the road safely. Let's see if we can zoom in a little here. But yeah, we've been seeing a lot of Florida box turtles. And so, especially after rain, they like to cross the roads. And it rained last night. But there we go, Florida box turtle. 
We just found, this is a beautiful male Florida box turtle. You can see the super indent there. Wow, that is impressive. But yeah, that's a big male Florida box turtle. We're gonna let him go and keep on going, but see, yeah, pretty. So we just came across, this is a mud turtle, striped mud turtle that's on the road here. We're gonna make sure this guy gets off safely and keep on going. We just cruised another striped mud turtle here. So we're gonna make sure this guy gets off the road. We're gonna keep on going. So I have just come across, this is a big female Florida soft shell turtle who's nesting along the side of the road here. We are pretty close to a water body, but that's still really cool to see. She's a really big turtle. I'm gonna let her be and keep on driving, but really cool. Florida soft shell turtle. So we have our second turtle on the day. This is actually, I know that we have the, down here in South Florida, we mostly get the Florida red belly cooters and they kind of have an orange plaster on, but I'm pretty sure that this is a female peninsula cooter who I just found crossing the, the road here. She's a pretty good size. I'd say she's over a foot long, her, if I would measure her SCL, her straight carapace length. But yeah, look at that. Really impressive. These are just such beautiful animals. All right, so yesterday we had a peninsula cooter. Today, this is a Florida red belly cooter that's attempting to cross the road here. So, there we go. We're gonna make sure this guy gets off safely and we're gonna keep on going, but you can see the outline of red in it and the plastron's a little more of that orangey red color too, so. Florida red belly cooter. So this right over here is an Argentina black and white tegu that is just in the, this picnic area here. Um, this is another invasive species of South Florida. One of the reasons why I'm actually down here is I actually work with these lizards. That's a smaller one right there who just worked his way into the parking lot. So, he's over here. So here we go, we got our first black spiny tail guano. There's one here. And there's another one, bigger male right there. And there's another one right over here. There. This is only just a literal, very small sample size. They're everywhere over here, and there goes one up that way. We have an iguana that's in the road and is now working its way into the grass. So we have a basilisk that's on this rock right over here. That's a pretty cool sight. Well, I'm shaking like crazy. There we go. So I was zoomed in a little on my, with, I had my camera lined up to um, my monocular, but that's a male basilisk who's just basking. I may try and get closer to him and see what he does. So here's an, a male agama lizard that's just sitting on this rock right here. This one's actually not fleeing like most of them do. Some I find are very habituated and others are very skittish, but. There's a good look of it at him right there. 
So this is the second time I've ever recorded this, if they will stay still, but right here, this is a mating pair of brown and old. Let's see if we can focus in. Right there. Yep, so they're just doing the thing on the gate right here. But zoom out a little more. Yeah. There we go. And they're done. So I am at work right now and I have just come across this is a southeastern five line skink that is literally on the carpet inside. So no idea how this guy got in, but we're gonna release this lizard and yep, this is actually the first time I've seen a southeastern five line skink here in South Florida this year. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, see if we can get a little zoom in a little more. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I am now outside with the skink, and we are going to release it. Um, it's doing this little lizard trance thing that they do when you usually hold them, but... All right, so I'm just going to put them on the gravel right here. Nope, it's still... Get him and take him a minute to realize what there he goes. So now it's outside, it can go back to hunting, doing what it wants to do. And yep, all right, so there we go. Southeastern five line skink. So we have, this is an invasive cane toad that's right over here. Um, actually the first time I've gotten up close with one, so um, not a good sight. Obviously these guys cause a lot of problems and they're basically invincible because they kill anything that eats them. But there it goes, cane toad. So we have just come across a bunch of tadpoles. There's one right there that are just swimming in this very shallow water body. More in this depression right over here. Sawgrass is in the way, but you can see them. So yeah, these are likely, I don't know what species these are. I'm leaning towards potentially southern toad larvae, but pretty cool. And here is just, let me zoom out here for a second. And that's the habitat that we're in. Just this beautiful sawgrass, cypress dome, habitat that we're exploring. All right, everyone, so I have just come across, this is the shed of a snake. And I can't really get a good look at what it is just by zooming in, but zoom out a little here. It doesn't appear, to, let me get a, see if I can get a closer look, but it doesn't appear that it has keeled scales on it. No, maybe it, no! I, okay, it does. It has like very, you can kind of see them there, but so this is likely, most likely this is an erodia or a uh, cottonmouth, especially given the habitat that we're in. The only other thing that this could potentially be is a mud snake, um, but I think this is an erodia or a cottonmouth shed. We'll get a closer look at it and see if I can identify it. Well, it is raining, like pouring right now, and there is a cottonmouth that's in the middle of the road during this rainstorm. That is something I have not seen before. There's the thunder. Crazy. And we have a black racer. 
that's on the road right now. It's working its way off. It's a little one, not super big. Technically, this is an Everglades racer, but yep, there it goes, working its way off the road. Usually, they disappear in such a flash that you barely see them, and that one is already pretty much gone in the grass, so we're going to keep on driving. Maybe we'll see something else. So this right over here, I'm zooming in, is a black racer. So we're going to walk up a little closer and see what it does. It's probably going to immediately take off. This one's staying relatively, well this is technically an Everglades racer. Wow, I'm surprised. This one's actually not fleeing. It's rare to see this happen. And there it goes. So right there, that is a black racer that is on the road. So we're going to get a little closer to it and see what happens. And there it goes. So there is an alligator that is on the side of the road just basking over here. So it's a, I'd say about a six foot alligator. It's not that big. But pretty cool to see. Never get tired of seeing alligators. When your parents came. So perched in this tree over here, that is a bald eagle. I can't get any closer than that, but we saw him flying and he was lucky enough to land in the tree. So, pretty cool. Well, here's an angry possum that is just not happy to see me whatsoever. All right, and here is a baby possum. This is something you don't see too much of in South Florida. We got some deer over here that are very alerted to my presence, watching us as we're driving along. There's five of them that are, uh, four of them that are here. So, yeah, we're just gonna let them be. I mean, pythons have done a number on mammals here in South Florida, including deer. They have eaten deer fawns and stuff like that. So we're just going to let these deer be and keep on going and see what else we can find. So right by my truck, there are two lubbers, lubber grasshoppers that are mating. I don't know why that's not focusing in on them, but zoom out a little more. Yeah. So... We'll let these two be, and we'll keep on going. So I just found this guy. It's a snail, obviously not a herp, but still a really cool find. And I don't know if it's one of these tree snails that we have down here, but just take a look at that guy. Really cool looking. I'm just gonna put him on a tree, and then we're gonna keep on going. But yeah, really cool snail.